Today's student, we are going to understand some more feature in Scratch. By this video, you can able to understand. So let me see what are the things we are going to learn in this. That is, generate random numbers using sensing key to respond to the key press, broadcasting and receiving message for communicating between spirits using variable list. These four things we are going to learn in this chapter. And in this video, first of all, we will talk about our first topic that is generate random numbers that we are going to do. So what is random number? That is in, you already know that whenever we select any number like from 1 to 10 randomly like 1, 3, 7, 9, but it should be between 1 to 10. That is what selection of number randomly between 1 to 10. In that, we have to select the first starting number and the last ending number. Between that only, we have to select the number. Similarly, in this software, Scratch is also provided as a feature to generate random numbers between any two values. That value is being provided by the user. That is the person who is using this software. This kind of, you can see this kind of green color tab is there. This is we use for picking the random number. What is the use of this random number is? So by the use of this random number function, we can use this button in our other control block and with the help of this combination of other control blocks and this random number, we can move our spirit in any direction randomly. You can see that this random number or pick random button can be used with a combination of other blocks to control the position, movement or effect of the spirit. Like here in this short program, we can see forever block is used and then one event and then this green pick button is used. So student, let me understand this practically how to do this and how we can use this pick random button with a combination of other control block. I'm using Scratch 2 editor. So it is, looks like this. Okay. So what we have to do, so first of all, we have to check the button. That is pick a random button. This was the button we were talking about. And you know, you can see that one and one to two is already written here. That means you have to pick such number between one to 10. Okay. With this button, we can use other control block also. Like I'm going to use when clicked button. Then we can use forever block. And then we put this pick random to it. Before that, I have to select a few more things. Like for movement, I want motion into it. So I will use glide option and place it between the forever block. You can see glide one second, two. And here it is written axis zero, axis, x axis is zero, and y axis is zero. In this zero, I have to place this pick button. So when you drag this, it will just take its place. Yes. So now it is there. Pick random. And one more I have to select for this y axis. So again, go to operators and select one more pick random and place it in this place. Okay. Now we have to just change the coordinate to numbers. So as I can see in this program, I just give the value here it is minus 200 
and in place of 10 you have to place you have to write 200 and here in place of 1 you have to write minus 180 and in place of 10 you can write 120 Now you can see that we have done our programming job. Now it's turn to run the spirit. You have to click on this flag button. Look, as I click on the flag button, you can see that cat is randomly moving in different direction. And as I have used a forever block, so it will be continuously moving to different axes. You can see that it is continuously moving in different section. Yes. So I hope student you have understood that if we use this pick random button with different control block, what will be possible or what will be the possibility of movement of this spirit? You can change this axis also. So, student, kindly try this program practically on your own system. And, uh, student, those who are not having, kindly watch the video properly and learn. Thank you, student. In the next video, we will do one more program on one more new topic.